This aircraft can fly faster than sound, yet you'll never hear it coming. No thunder, no boom, just silence. And the craziest part? NASA actually built it. At dawn in California's Mojave Desert, a strange aircraft glides into view. Its nose is absurdly long, stretched out like a sword cutting through air. Where every other jet has a cockpit full of windows, this one has none. It looks less like a plane, and more like a secret experiment that escaped from a science fiction movie. And in a way, it is. This is NASA's X-59 Quay SST, a jet designed to do what no aircraft in history has ever achieved to fly supersonic, faster than the speed of sound, without producing a sonic boom. For most of aviation history, breaking the sound barrier came with thunder. In 1947, Chuck Yeager's Bell X-1 first shattered it and the sky itself answered back with an explosive crack heard for miles. That sound, the boom, wasn't just loud. It was destructive. Windows shattered, walls rattled, and people panicked. You could hear it long after the jet was gone, a reminder that nature doesn't like being pushed. In the 1970s, when the Concorde appeared, humanity dared to try again. It was elegant, powerful, and faster than anything before it. Crossing the Atlantic in just three and a half hours, but speed came at a cost. The Concorde's supersonic flights could only happen over the ocean because no one wanted that deafening boom over their homes. Instead of uniting continents, the Concorde was confined to narrow oceanic corridors. And then came tragedy. In 2000, Air France Flight 4590 caught fire on takeoff, killing everyone on board. Public confidence collapsed, costs soared, and the dream of supersonic travel was grounded. By 2003, the last Concorde touched down forever. The sound barrier had won again, but inside NASA's wind tunnels, a new question began to form. What if the problem wasn't speed? What if the problem was shape? Because every sonic boom starts with a shape slicing through air faster than sound. When a plane moves at supersonic speeds, air molecules can't move away fast enough. They pile up, forming shock waves that spread out like the wake behind a speedboat. Those waves eventually reach the ground as a thunderous boom. But what if those waves could be stretched apart, softened, dispersed before they hit the ground? That's exactly what NASA set out to prove. At Langley Research Center, engineers used supercomputers to simulate thousands of airflow patterns. They weren't just studying speed, they were studying silence. They found that if the nose, body, wings, and tail of a jet were shaped just right, the shock waves wouldn't merge into a single loud explosion. Instead, they'd scatter, turning that earth-shaking boom into a gentle thump. In other words, they could literally sculpt the air. By 2017, this dream had a name, the X-59 Quiet Supersonic Technology, or Quay SST. It wasn't just a plane, it was a physics experiment with wings, and NASA had a partner with the perfect resume. Lockheed Martin's legendary Skunk Works, the same secretive lab that built the U-2 spy plane, the SR-71 Blackbird, and the F-117 Stealth Fighter. Now they were being asked to do something even harder, not to hide from radar, but to hide from sound itself. The design that emerged looked alien, a razor-sharp fuselage, a cockpit placed halfway down the body, and a nose so long it stretched 11 meters, one-third the entire aircraft. Even veteran test pilots were stunned. One joked, it looks like a flying pencil with an attitude, but that nose wasn't for style. It was for silence. Every curve was tuned to shape the air to break sound, not with brute force, but with precision. Then came a bigger question. How do you fly a jet? With no front window, you don't. You let technology do it for you. The X-59 uses an external vision system, two ultra-high definition cameras mounted on the nose, feeding real-time images to 4K displays in the cockpit. It's like flying through a video game, except the stakes are real. The pilot sees everything, runways, clouds, the horizon, but through screens. And if those screens fail, backup systems and side windows still allow safe manual flight. Even the engine placement was a breakthrough. Instead of hanging below the wings, it sits above the fuselage. That's not a mistake, it's strategy. By positioning the engine on top, NASA hides part of its noise from the ground, shielding neighborhoods from extra shock waves. Every bolt, every surface, Every curve had to be perfect. One misplaced screw could ruin years of data. The aircraft's outer shell is made of advanced composites built under laser-guided precision. Even the paint is special. 
an anti-static coating similar to Teflon, so static electricity won't interfere with the jet's sensitive instruments. And after years of design, simulation, and subscale testing, came the big moment, power on. In late 2024, inside a hangar at Edwards Air Force Base, engineers gathered around as the X-59's modified F-414 engine, borrowed from the F-A-18 Hornet, was ignited for the first time. The hangar trembled, instruments glowed, and history quietly began to hum. That sound wasn't a boom. It was the sound of a challenge being accepted. The goal now, prove it works in the sky. Only one place in America allows supersonic testing, the deserts of Edwards. Over the coming months, NASA's test pilots will take the X-59 past Mach 1, while hundreds of sensors and volunteers below record what they hear. But here's the clever part. The people won't know when the jet flies overhead. Because to truly test quiet, you have to test honesty. NASA's built entire mock neighborhoods filled with sensors, speakers, and microphones. Homes, porches, even fake living rooms. So scientists can understand how the boom feels indoors. The goal isn't just numbers on a graph, it's emotion. How do people react? Do they flinch? Do they even notice? If the data shows the boom is gentle enough, NASA will take its findings to the International Civil Aviation Organization and the FAA. If the world agrees, the decades-old ban on supersonic flight over land could finally be lifted. Imagine this, New York to Los Angeles in two hours and 40 minutes, London to Dubai in three, San Francisco to Tokyo before dinner, the same speed as the Concorde, but quiet enough to fly right over cities. That's what the X-59 represents, not just faster travel, but the rebirth of an idea we thought was lost. But there's a catch. For the first time in aviation history, the future of flight doesn't depend on technology. It depends on public opinion, because if the sound isn't acceptable to people, no regulation will ever change. NASA's engineers can silence the sky, but they can't silence the human ear. Only the people on the ground can decide whether this new era takes off. And that's what makes this story bigger than NASA. It's about us. It's about whether we still believe in progress. Progress that listens instead of shouting. When the first quiet boom rolls across the Mojave Desert, it won't shake windows, but it might shake our imagination. Because the moment it happens, humanity will have done something extraordinary. We will have taught speed to whisper. Think about that. For 70 years, every time we went faster, we got louder. Now we're learning that power doesn't need to roar to be felt. It can be silent, efficient, elegant. If that idea excites you, if you believe progress can evolve without destruction, subscribe and join the story, because what happens next will define the next 50 years of flight. NASA calls the X-59 a demonstrator, but that's underselling it. This jet isn't just about one plane, it's about proving that humanity can push the limits of physics responsibly. Private companies are already watching closely. Boom Supersonic, Arian, and other startups hope to use this data to build the next generation of quiet commercial jets. And when that happens, supersonic flight could become mainstream again, not just for the rich, but for everyone. But right now, there's only one X-59 in existence. If it crashes, the project pauses for years. If it succeeds, it changes aviation forever. That's why every bolt, every panel, every test run matters. It's not just a prototype, it's a promise. Inside Lockheed's Skunk Works hangar, engineers whisper a new motto to the stars, quietly. Every time they step inside that hangar, they're reminded that the sky doesn't forgive mistakes, but it rewards courage. So the next time you hear silence in the sky, it might not be silence at all. It might be the sound of NASA changing history. The Concorde made us faster. The X-59 could make us wiser. It's the difference between conquering nature and learning from it. And that, in a way, is what science is all about. Because speed is just a number, but silence, that's mastery. So what do you think? Should we bring back supersonic travel, this time without the noise? Would you fly on a jet that can cross continents faster than sound while leaving only a whisper behind? Tell me what you think in the comments, because your voice might be part of the next chapter of flight. NASA's engineers aren't chasing fame, they're chasing the sound of nothing. The proof that technology can evolve not just for power, but for peace. And that's something worth watching, worth supporting, and worth believing in. Because in the end, progress doesn't always roar.
Sometimes it whispers. So stay curious, stay subscribed, and remember this. The next time you look up at the sky and hear nothing at all, it might mean humanity just took another leap forward.